Here we have a very nice looking 2003 Mazda MX-5 Sport Convertible in blue. Starting with the offside front tyre. Now as you can see this is a brand spanking new tyre on the offside front. So bags of tread on that tyre there. Offside front alloy, taking a good look at the condition. No sign of any damage whatsoever there. Real clean looking alloy. Looking down the offside of the vehicle. Now there is a good sized dent in this front quarter panel here. As you can see we're just trying to get the light in it there. So you can see there's quite a good sized dent there. Apart from that, there's another small dent in the driver's door just there, but apart from that, could not spot anything else. Offside front tire, there's no sign of any rust at all showing. Um, again, paint looks very good with just one or two light scratches that will require polish. A couple of stone chips on the driver's mirror as well require some paint. Driver's door itself, again, just the odd one or two light scratches around the paintwork. A couple of chips in the door edge there will require some touch-ins. As you can see on the cloth roof, real nice condition, no sign of any damage at all there. Moving towards the rear arch again very clean no sign of any rust at all there and again looks like a brand new tyre on the offside rear so brand new tyre offside front and rear. Looking on the alloy right on the edge there you can see a couple of little marks but no sign of any heavy curving or any heavy scuff marks at all to that alloy. And moving towards the rear end of the car rear bumper again there's no sign of any damage whatsoever to the rear end of the car very clean, very tidy. A couple of scratches on the loading bay and rear bumper will require mop and polish. Apart from that, though, it looks great. Everything appears to be in good order. Opening up the boot. So, opening up the boot, you can see it's in a lovely, clean, tidy condition inside. And if we just look underneath the tray there, you can see you've got your spare wheel. But apart from that, it's all in good order. Moving around to the near side rear tyre, and again you can see that is a brand spanking new tyre pretty much on the rear. Looking on the off, uh, near side rear alloy, you can see you've got a couple of marks around the alloy here, a couple of scuffs, a bit of curbing towards the bottom as well, so it may require a refurb that one. Looking down the off, uh, near side of the body, again you've got a couple of small little dents down the bodywork there, nothing too serious. Uh, rear arch all in nice clean condition. Uh, the door itself, the door edge is fine, a couple of light scratches, again will require polish, same on the mirror. I can just about get my nail into that scratch there, so that might require a bit of paint, but apart from that, really well. The front arch is clean, and again that's a brand spanking new tyre there on the near side front. So you've had four brand new tyres on the car, which is brilliant. And then looking around the alloy, very clean, just a couple of little scuff marks there. Moving around to the front end of the car, a couple of stone chips on the front. Um, now I'm not too sure but I think that's missing a bit of plastic grill unless it's like that from standard I'm not too sure but just be wary of that anyway apart from that there's no sign of any damage and again a couple of stone chips around the bonnet of the vehicle take a look at the interior inside full black leather and as you can see it's in a lovely condition looks very well for its age clearly been taken care of front passenger seats again in nice condition Dashboard sense consoles all very tidy, not bad uh, condition at all to the steering wheel either. <coughs> Step inside the car itself. Now we do have two sets of keys with the vehicle, as you can see there. So well, there's three keys, one with an immobiliser, which works perfectly fine. Now looking at the dash whilst I start the vehicle. As you can see, no issue at all starting the vehicle, starts perfectly fine. 49,247 on the clock, and as you can see, everything appears to be in good order there, with no symbols on the dash. Car runs exactly how it should. Radio works perfectly fine, no issues at all there. Heated seats in the vehicle, obviously a manual box there, no issues at all with any of the blowers. And now, paperwork. V5, we're looking at three owners, so three owners on the vehicle. It does have an MOT which expires here, 2nd of September 2016. So it does look like it's just run out, um, not, just looks like it's just had an MOT as well, which is spot on. <coughs> Service history, now we've got a receipt, and this receipt was done at 4,000 miles, and it was its 9,000 mile service. So that was its first service there. And then its second service we've got in the book at, well, there's your 4,000 mile 
service there, sorry, which is already in the book. Uh, but apart from that, unfortunately, I could not see any further uh, services street in the book. So unfortunately, all I could see was that service at 4,000 miles. There have it though, guys. Apart from the services street, the car is lovely, real nice, um, addition, real nice condition of this car. Heated seats, leather. It's immaculate. I mean, there's a couple of light little marks on the outside. Nothing serious at all. Four brand new tyres on the vehicle as well. So it's a 2003 Mazda MX-5 S Sport.